yeah, welcome to the KCP community uh, meeting um, today. So I think exciting news, uh, the vote started for getting KCP into the CNCF sandbox. Does anyone have the link that we can post here? Would be great if you can support us there. So that hopefully we will get this in. I think it was in the channel. Or... Oh yeah, Stefan, you posted it already, perfect. So if you haven't, please help us with thumbs up. And I think it's open for a week or Stefan, do you know this? It's written there. That's oh, yeah. all I know. And this is potentially handing over, Stefan, to you. Uh, I think you have some updates regarding the rebase, huh? Yeah, I mean, you have seen that conversations by MJ and me in Slack. So MJ did a lot of work cherry picking, yeah, I don't know, 20 uh, commits. So we split up this big um, one, all in one commit into smaller ones by package or by area, more or less, staging repository. And uh, out of those, MJ did the majority of the work and I, I followed up with API extensions, API server, and now I'm on control plane. So as reported before, this generic control plane goes away. So we have now from upstream package control plane API server, which is basically a replacement. And I'm working on getting the KCP server code to match uh, and this is work in progress. Everything else, I think, most was paid in less. Can you, MJ, can you paste the link to your PR maybe? Um, yeah, like in, I so I think the, the majority of the work was an API extension API server. So MJ tried a couple of times. I tried at least twice. Um, there's one big PR in upstream which got reverted. So Andy got a PR there and this was pretty, I don't know, everywhere through API extensions and um, they got reverted. So we had to repair that to rebuild it, like do the revert of the revert or the rebase of the revert, whatever. Um, so it was complicated. Um, what we still have in KCP, and we should discuss that, there is conversion code via CEL. So basically a prototype from Andy Goldstein um, about conversion. So there's an object, don't remember the name, API conversion or something. Um, so an external object to CRDs or to API resource schemas. And um, you can define conversions just in the object without any webhook. It's pretty cool, but it's, I think it's something we have to get into upstream. I'm not sure there is so much value to continue that work in KCP. And I think this, um, this big, reverted change was for that purpose, right? So we could think about that. After the rebase, there's something we don't have to decide now, but um, probably it's something where we can make the rebase even simpler again. Uh, yeah. Good question on Great. that. Um, mm -hmm. If it's related to API exports, will upstream like even accept it? It's um, yeah, it's, okay. I think it's it's more like a priority question upstream. So um, there are those, what's the name? Um, admission policies or something like that based on CL. This was promoted to better, I think. So it's there was a focus basically. And conversion is in focus, it's in scope, but um, hasn't been started. Basically, this is a prototype. and. Joe Bates from Upstream, he is also aware of that. So um, it won't go through right away. Like this is a proposal, right? It's a cap. It's a lot of, I mean, many, many details and worth a cap for sure. 
Okay, so the, the the part that we want for upstream is like more of a like conversion engine. Yes. Um, okay. Yes. Has nothing to do with uh, with KCP. There's of course a use in KCP because if you if you think about um, having a multi-regional KCP, then um, having a webhook is not so trivial, right? You have to make it available everywhere. So um, that's why, yeah. Um, Webhook is not a good fit, so Andy invested into this conversion bias here. So it's cool, but I'm not sure. So I have doubts we should carry that. And the question maybe for, for you, um, is anybody using that at the moment? Or planning to use? I'm hearing about it for the first time. Um... But this would be essentially to convert between different versions of an API export? Yes, yes, API resource schemas. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that, that sounds like a very useful feature in general. It is no question. <laughs> I'm just saying it's 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 um, kind of misplaced in in KCP. That's what I'm saying. Because the reverse really touch belongs... was Go ahead. the reverse touch stream because was was reverted because of flakes, like some test failing. Okay. I think I think like should we try again the one we end? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Again? Yes, please try again. So if you have cycles please do so i pasted the link to the conversion if you want to take a look so i think the, the pr from andy was good upstream it's not that it's not useful i'm saying this feature if that's the only reason that we maintain this giant pr on our side it's maybe not a good idea if we get it upstream even better i mean this leave the pr not the conversion directly that's uh, another step, of course. Yeah, and um, yeah, the simple answer about state, so you can compile Cube API server at the moment. That was basically our milestone. And as good as we were able to do it, we fixed or we rebased the commits, so there might be issues. And of course, Cube API server will not probably not even work like that. This, this was never the goal because um, the goal was to run KCP, but it's, it compiled. That was just my son. Yeah, for me, that the informers one was a bit interesting how we could solve that. The, 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 one, the one you posted in a chat, basically, the shared informers topic. The shared info. Oh, is this shared? one? Yeah. 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 yeah but but I, I think this this is more like to get it compiled, right? It's not relevant for KCP, I believe. I, I so, so the topic is um, we have code generation for informers for cluster aware informers, and there's a scoped version, so you can scope a. Uh, cluster and format down to one workspace. But what you get out is just, I think, a dynamic informer or something like that. So all those groups and versions and resources are not available. So the idea was to return basically a shared informer factory, which matches the upstream interface. So you can put it everywhere where upstream wants a non-scoped, uh, non-cluster informer. I think this works up to the point where you want to handle keys or have indexes, which are for the whole informer, of course. And the question is whether, I mean, if this has value to scope down an informer to an, a compatible interface, if it's good enough, if the returned object satisfies the interface, but some features are basically no ops or return errors. I don't know. It was just something we found in the rebase. Otherwise, we have to, I mean, in Cube API, sorry, we have to start two informers for the same things. That's the reason.
Yeah, I think that's all what we can report at the moment. No blockers is, uh, I think it's just, it takes effort, takes, or it's quite some work to make sure that the code we want in upstream, like we have one commit, it's called work in progress, I think, WIP, maybe I renamed it. So it's at the bottom of our um, rebase branch. This should go upstream and we make sure that it fits our purpose. And we have to rework KCP server plumbing code for that. So that, and I think when I was rebasing, there was few other minor ones which you can try to get upstream, like a context adding and things like that. In the older paths on a queue where we still don't use context around the place. But like, honestly, I expected it to be way, way worse than rebasing from all the previous stuff. So I think it's, it's moving to the right direction in general. Yeah. API extensions, if we can make that uh, easier. Yeah, please. That's too much at the moment. Okay, are there any questions? So you see the PR, if you're curious, please take a look. And I guess, so I'm not sure when, when I get to finish this plumbing work, when it compiles, when KCP compiles, maybe comes up more or less, there might be possibilities to help out like there might be an issue with something and then people can swarm on that and try to fix it. So just to recap, so the next step now is to try that Q branch to throw into the KCP and see basically if compiles that's, and work. Yeah. That's what I started yesterday. I have it locally, but it's not compiling yet. Is it looking good, bad? Like uh, there's just a mismatch, so something changed, like with informers again, um, this topic okay. shows up uh, as well. So okay. like we have to wire, we have to wire through a non cluster informer for priority and fairness. That's what I noticed was the last thing I think. Okay. I'm not sure what we did before. Maybe we had a second informer for that. Could well be. And MJ, yeah, if, if you have cycles, we, we can think how to I, work, maybe. Yeah, I might, if you push it somewhere, yeah. I think I might have like a half day during a weekend or tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. rarely, but I think on the weekend, maybe. So just like push somewhere raw branch. And, yes. And I might, I hope I will have time to look in that. Okay, and yeah, if, if there are things coming up, um, as you said, like distributing the work, um, we would love to hear about that. Something that yeah. uh, issue people can pick up. Yes, Let us know. I will do so. That's all I think. Any other topics? Silent. Just for information, I had a small talk, like lightning five minutes talk presenting KCP. I think it, in general, audience wasn't the right one, but I think I got asked to talk again in a longer one in the like loud native local meetup. So I'm gonna try doing again. Still trying to like spread the news. <laughs> so it's in 12, it went it went okay, but I think I said audience was more very DevOpsy. Did you show any slides and did you create one or only demo? Yeah, it's it's only five minute lightning talk. 
So I bet most of my presentation on GIFs, like showing CLI and showing how it works. And the organizers exported my presentation to PDF. This means no moving pictures. <laughs> so I kind of improvised on a, on a stage. <laughs> so yeah, don't rely on moving pictures in your slides. Lessons learned. <laughs> You unmute, Stefan. Frederick, you are your drawing. I still have open uh, the tab here for quite some time. Is this something to talk through? Maybe not interesting for everybody, but uh, for TMC. Um, yeah, yeah. I've uh, done some uh, refactoring, and now it's compiling. Uh, you, you, you know, for I. Uh, for having it uh, as a layered uh, version over KCP. So there is a normal version is working, uh, except things like, like uh, uh, tunneling, but as well it's working. Uh, but yeah, for having it as a layered thing, uh, I've done some refactoring and it's compiling, but uh, there are still uh, quite a few items that I haven't addressed. So also the things on, um, uh, rolling out uh, the, the configuration, uh, replacing the, uh, the, the bootstrapping uh, of the, the CRT and uh, the, the access. And I, I haven't even tested whether, uh, you know, it, it's doing something. So I, I still have quite some work on, on that. And um, I haven't much time uh, in the coming two weeks. I, I won't have much time to to work on that I hope at the end of the month to, to be again, uh, able again to, to work on it. Okay. Yeah, cool. So once this, I think once the repair is done, I think I'm gonna go back to the, see what can be done there. Let's see. Okay, so no other topics for today. If not, let's finish early. Then, thanks a lot and see you all in Thank two. you. Bye-bye. Huh? See you. Thank you. Bye-bye.